A very good day to all of you, and may you be the blessing. That is the will of God for your life. That is why He gave the Holy Spirit. That's why He gives to us the Holy Spirit. And when a person has the Holy Spirit, so then they are transformed into a fountain. Jesus said that he who drinks of the water that I give him, this water will be in him a fountain of spring flowing to flowing everlasting. Here in the world, it will be to serve God, but there in heaven, eternity will be to glorify him. And we were speaking of the faith that does not allow us to look behind. The intelligent faith does not allow us to look behind. And not even to the side. We always look ahead. But there is also another secret to faith that few are the ones who know. Few know about it. Many don't even have an idea about it or the greatness of faith. And it is because when you are born of the Holy Spirit, you are transformed, you are transformed into a life-giving spirit. Life-giving spirit means a spirit that brings forth life. You become a fountain, a fountain of blessings. And what does it mean to be born of the Holy Spirit? To be born of the Holy Spirit is to be born of faith. And one thing is for you to take possession of the blessings by faith. And another thing is for you to be the blessing. And for you to be the blessing. It is completely different. Because in the case of the ten lepers, nine were healed. They, were, they had faith to be healed. But only one was actually saved. And one thing is for you to take possession of the blessing. And another thing is for you to live with the blessing and being the blessing. It is interesting this. Because many are worried about the physical things. The material things, the things of this world. And because of that, they forget about their own soul. They forget that they, they need to be born of water and of the Holy Spirit so that they can be spirit, so that they can have the nature of God and so that they can carry the image of God wherever they go. So then, when we are born of the Holy Spirit, we carry God's image. And God's image is the image of peace, is the image of faith, is the image of assurance. It's Jesus' perfume, it is the mind of Christ. So, when a person has this commitment with God, they are the fountain of blessing. They are the fountain of blessing. So, it goes like this. When you are born of the Spirit, of the water and of the Spirit, and this is the reason why we insist for you to do the campaign of Israel, to receive the Holy Spirit, because when you are born of the Holy Spirit, you become the fountain. And then, you, you will not live anymore like before. And you know, before, you may have been a person insecure, unsafe. Sometimes you had faith, according to the circumstances you had faith, and according to the circumstances you did not have faith. But those who are fountain, they are always flowing. They are always flowing. Those who are a spring, they do not live with that unsafety. They are not anxious. They do have within them, they carry within them the image of God. They carry God's image within them. The image of peace, image of joy, even though they may be going through hardships even though they may go through tribulation. Well, my dear friends, what I'm passing on to you, it, it, it's called faith with intelligence. 
the faith with rational, the faith that, are, that is wise, the faith that makes you to take possession of the blessing and to maintain it, not to take possession of the blessing and to lose it, or to lose it along the way. Because this is what happens to many who are around. Because when you have God's nature, when you have the life-giving spirit, so then you are the blessing. You are the blessing. It may be that your blessing or make you to take possession of this or that immediately. But you, ha you are the blessing, you are the faith, you walk with certainty. You walk with certainty. You are safe. You are not unsure. You are not uncertain. You don't depend on A or B or C. That's the secret of faith. When a person is born of the Spirit, they live by faith. They are of faith and they are the blessing. That's what God told Abraham. May you be the blessing. May you be the blessing. And this blessing has gone, has passed on faith in faith. And all those who have, they have this as the anchor of their lives. On the other hand, when a person is not in faith, they are unsure. They are in doubt, they are afraid. So then they are insecure. The news and the devil promotes bad news just so just to move doubts, just to bring fear, to bring anxiety, to bring forth anxiety. But those who are born of the Spirit, they do not let themselves be driven by circumstances, by the situation, because they know the storms do come and storms leave. But those who live in faith and by faith, they maintain themselves strong even though they are shaking. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, how I want you to understand this so well, because this is the secret of faith. Whenever you see someone talking about faith, first, this person needs to be the blessing. This person must have God's image and they need to give to you that which they have. If they are sure, then they will pass on to you this word of faith. They will pass the Spirit to you. It will, they will pass to you peace. But if they are not the blessing, not born of the Spirit, they are going to bring fear, they are going to give you doubts, uncertainty, and and like this, they live their lives passing on to others what they are within themselves. So friends, God wants to make of you the blessing. He wants you to be the fountain. He wants you and to make of you the faith. But a faith that is permanent. Not a faith that is weak. Not a faith that is vulgar or weak, but a faith that makes you to stand for all eternity and in this life as well. Amen? So those who walk and live by faith, they always have and they are always standing. In fact, I want to leave this invitation this coming Friday, we are going to be making the great day, the great day of a challenge. Because our faith is this, Jesus said, come to me, those who are weary and heavy burdened, and I'll give you rest. So, he's not speaking, come to me, those who deserve, come to me, those who are not sinners, the holy, no, come to me who is in suffering, who is hurting, who is... So then, Friday, it's a big movement that we do to draw 
and to call all those to, who are coming for a challenge, to challenge God's word, to challenge that he is good, as David said, to prove that God is good. He himself said, test me in this, prove me if I will not open the windows of heaven. He, God, invites us to prove him. So Friday, in all the universal church of the kingdom of God, you can, you can come. Whether in the morning, in the afternoon, and also in the evening as well. You can, if you are willing to, to prove and test. So come, you will see in all the universal church. So God bless all of you and until later.